Hi friends, this is Ramana. I will show demo on loading of multiple CSV files using for each loop container in Visual Studio. So earlier we already showed one demo on how to load the CSV file into database. Now this is multiple CSV files. In real time scenario, there is a uh, there may be some occasions SSIS developers might work on multiple loading of files having similar mm, schema and data structure into the database. So it is very difficult to load each and every file uh, or uh, very difficult to create separate package for every file. So Microsoft um, SSTT provide uh, some one component called for each loop container to make the task um, easy for the developers. The for each loop container defines <coughs> a repeating control flow in a SSIS package. It is widely used to, to do repeated multiple tasks like let's say if you have bulk source of files we can do it by using the for each loop. So without wasting time we just jump into the demo. So this is my SSTT 2019 Visual Studio. Now I will drag the <coughs> for each loop container which is, which is in the um, down of the SS, uh, SSIS toolbox. Out of three containers, for each loop is the second one. So my source files are he here in this, in this path. D, uh, local, local desk D, files. I want to load these three files sample 1, sample data, uh, sample data, sample data 1 and sample data 2 into the data bus. If you see the data in the structure, data structure in the sheet, it is just EMP details, ID, first name, last name, email, gender and currency. So some simple personal details all these things and in first sheet it is around 1000 records. Yeah, it's 1000 records and second sheet contains it's also 1000 records and third sheet, third sheet will be seven twenty. So one thousand, one thousand, seven twenty. So I want to load all these um, uh, files into the da database. I created one sample da database structure here. <coughs> if you run, there is no data. It's a, it's having the same columns what we have seen in the actual sheet uh, for CSV file earlier. ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and currency. Um, there is no data now. Now uh, I, I want to load uh, all these. Uh, three files into the um, database in sample data table using the for each loop container. So the, in control flow I, I will take for each loop container now to <coughs> to load the files we have to create some variables here. So right click here, click, uh, right click, uh, click variable, add variable here file path variable name is file path package data type is string so variable value value in the sense here my uh, variable value is this um, <coughs> path file so you, you have to give the path file of this variable for that full path you know to go to the d files copy this one and paste in the value field so it's not single it's a string so it's okay now i will drag on data flow task into the for each loop container 
So to configure, we need to come for each loop container. We just go to edit. We will do later than this configuration. Now after going the after clicking the double click on the data flow, we need to <coughs> take the source one. Source one means flat file source. Because it is a CSV file, I need to take the flat file source. Flat file source here. After that, I will take the destination is the OLEDB destination. First, to configure the flat file source, click new, browse, and select the CSV files from the D and D folder. One, there are three files here. I will select only first file only. Sample data that's CSV, columns, preview and everything is ok now we click ok and columns mapping is also correctly mapped so configuration is done successfully for flat file source now we have to make a connection with flat file source to destination after that we need to click the double click and uh, click new connection in my case it is Server name is admin and uh, database is sample. Okay. If you want to create the table, you click directly here, or else if you want, to, uh, we need to load all these uh, multiple files into already existing table that is sample data in the database. So that's for that sake, we need to select the table. Table mappings. Okay. So, may make sure once again that the data is uh, there or not in, in the sample data, sample data table. Click there. Yes, there is no data, empty data is showing in the da sample data table. So, configuration is done. Now, we again we have to go to and uh, right click, right click here, edit. So, here on left side there is a collection is there, collection and for each for each item enumerator is that by default we have to select the for each file enumerator after that we will get the this path we need to browse the path so here i need to go or else you have to take copy directly from the path so d files check once my my folder is D files. Huh? The same thing I browse from here. Dot. If it is text files, you have to can um, type the text for txt. Or else xls ts if it is Excel files. For CSV, you uh, star dot CSV. variable mappings here variable one variable we have map this is one and okay um, after that we, we just configure the um, file connection manager by right clicking the properties so so we need to give some expression um, write some expression to know the loop of the um, multiple files how to identify the for each loop of uh, we have to give some expressions user path and evaluate the expression It is in the okay. So everything is fine. Now I have to uh, run the PAM package. 
see by, uh, how the data is the, uh, all three files data is the, uh, dumped into the sample data in this table yes it is run successfully data flow also going run successfully now we go to the and execute the time see the data so this is how we need to load the da tables multiple files into the uh, database table thanks for watching the video thank you very much